So we are diving into the world of edibles today, and I have Bob Dodge here with me. You're the owner of You Baked Cannabis. Hi, Bob. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing great. Um, you guys are located actually right here in Genesee County in Burton. Um, what exactly does You Bake do? So we're a, we're a state licensed uh, cannabis facility. We we have a medical and recreational cultivation license as well as a processing license. Um, we're continuing on into our phase two and phase three, ultimately adding another 28,000 square feet to our facility. We're just kind of busting at the seams right now, which is great. And, uh, you know, growth has been growth has been good for us. We've been uh, totally blessed by this industry and, and we're doing a lot of good things. One of the reasons we are talking with you today is about the new chocolate candy bars you guys have launched. I have a couple of them here with me. Yeah is um, I know these aren't just dark and milk chocolate. There's some right. flavors we have going on here. The one I'm looking at is frozen banana. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this. You know, we have a pretty creative team behind all of these. Um, we launched originally with four SKUs and it, it's honestly, these guys sit back here and just create stuff and they put it on my desk unmedicated and I've gained 20 pounds over the last 12 months testing all of these things. And, and what they come up with is, is really unplanned. It's, you know, a day of R&D, a day of this, a day of that. They're constantly going to the local store, picking up, you know, testing products to, to you know, cereals and different things like that to try out. And at the end of the day, they're creating some pretty wild stuff that tastes amazing. So as, as I mentioned, I have frozen banana here with me. We also yeah. have blueberry pancake, orange creamsicle, chocolate cherry, mint chocolate, yeah. just to name a few. So when they're coming up with these ideas, you mentioned that they're bringing it to you um, unmedicated. So just walk me through the process of how, you know, it goes from the idea of the flavor to making it into one of these packages and into a store. Well, it's, it's a, fairly lengthy time consuming process um you know the r d is a few days long basically they'll they'll do one flavor at a time and they'll mess around with ingredients and ultimately the frozen banana you know not really to give out the recipe but you know it's dehydrated bananas and, and they run it through a food processor you know that the chocolate that we use is very top end chocolate and um you know they spend hours putting that stuff together and once you know, the, the, the group here at the facility tests it all and tries it all, <clears throat> and we buy off on it, then we have to create the artwork. So we have a company that will start sending us over art samples. Um, we buy into the art, those go on dye lines, those go out to the packaging company, and it's a lengthy process. You know, it's two or three months long to actually launch a single SKU on a candy bar, man. And it's it's constantly changing. You know, we, we just tested some new flavors that you don't even have yet uh, last week. And, and partially for the deal that we're working out with Mike Tyson, you know, he likes Captain Crunch cereal. So we okay. created like eight different Captain Crunch bars with every flavor of Captain Crunch Im imaginable. Oh. Wow. And then I guess, you know, I know these candy bars are just one of the many products that you guys yeah. have <clears throat> make. I guess, can you tell me a little bit about some of these other ones? I, I know you dropped off quite a few with about hard candy, gummy, yeah. you can have Mackinac Island fudge. <laughs> so, yeah. So Mackinac Island fudge, the original Mackinac Island fudge. We, uh, we, we, we bought that company late last year and um, we did a launch in October um kind of went wild really quick uh, i think we sold seventeen thousand pieces of fudge in four hours when we launched it um and and that's going to ultimately be a seasonal product for us um we're getting ready to launch it again we've done some r d on some uh, on a new flavor actually so our superman candy bar has been super super popular for us i mean that's a skew that'll never go away it's it tastes just like superman ice cream um, so we did some R and D and we've created Superman fudge, wow. which is a two day process to actually make. And it tastes exactly like the ice cream. It's, it's pretty amazing stuff. I've, I've 
tested quite a few bars of these already. So, um, and then the gummies, yeah, we, we launched gummies kind of late, just, uh, uh, about a month or so ago, we started launching our gummies. Um, and that's been pretty successful for us. So, um, the hard candy you have has not been launched yet. That's kind of an R and D product for us. Um, working on some flavors right now, and that may end up into a sucker form before it's all said and done, and we may launch with a sucker. There's not a lot of suckers out there in the industry, so we're just trying to be innovative and stay ahead of you know the market. And I think the dispensaries are going to ultimately be like a Trader Joe's. You know, you're going to be able to go in and buy all kinds of stuff, and and with the beverages coming and and things like that, you're, you're going to see a lot of cool products. We hired a food scientist out of Indiana, um, and and we did that because we wanted that innovation, right? You, you've got your standard products in a dispensary um, or your smokable products and your general edible items, such as the suckers, the gummies, you know, and the caramels and things like that. But, you know, we want to try to take it to the next level and, and be out front um, of the pack. So we're working on medicated microwavable popcorn right now. He's working on gum. See behind me, they're working on the beverage launch. It's, I wanna constantly change up the menu here. I want, you know, different flavors of candy bar. And I think the nine SKUs or nine different candy bars you have in front of you. Some of those we'll scale back on. Some of those we'll keep for the next few months. And in the interim, we'll be making new products and new flavors, so. It's what's been popular, what's maybe becoming a new favorite. The blueberry pancake is absolutely a hit. Um, the, ch uh, the chocolate cherry actually has pop rocks in it. Um, that's been a pretty, uh, pretty big hit for us. Um, the orange cream sickle has been pretty good too. And I know you mentioned the drinks that are going to be coming. Is when are you guys looking at having that launch? Because I, I just, those are getting popular. Yeah. So when it comes to the edibles, you need you need to do shelf studies. So everything goes out to your company, whoever does it. We've sent it out the drinks out to our testing facility, who tests all of our products. Um, they're a state licensed facility here in Michigan. Um, so they'll do a shelf study on that. You know, hopefully. Midsummer, end of summer, we see something. Um, everybody's waiting. There's, there's, we're not the only game in town when it comes to drinks. There are other companies out there getting ready to launch. So we're all kind of in the same race together. We're all waiting for our shelf studies to come out. So, and then I know you guys supply seven out of the ten provisioning centers in Michigan, correct? Yes. So it's growing. And people, so people probably see your products in a variety of places that they probably go and shop. Yeah, just uh, I would say the only ones we're not in are the ones that are opening, uh, you know, are fairly new. Um, we do get a lot of calls and, and we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of marketing things we're doing to, to help, you know, push that. But ultimately, a good quality product um, at the end of the day is what the consumer is looking for. Great. And is anything else you'd like for people to know about what you guys do at you Bake Cannabis and the products you guys offer? Just stay tuned. We, uh, we're working on a lot of different things. Um, our food scientist, um, I, I really like talking about him because he's very unique to the industry. He hasn't worked in this industry. Um, he, uh, his background, he was a, a product uh, creator for Chobani. Um, he, yeah, he's products you buy at the local grocery store were his products. Um, he created the caramel for Starbucks. Uh, all the caramel on your frappuccinos come from him. Uh, Boy Scout popcorn. Um, that's that's one of the things we're working on diligently is the uh, the microwavable medicated microwavable popcorn. And we've actually done some samples here, and it's pretty amazing stuff. It's it's actually really good. Um, so. He's kind of a little wizard around here. We just kind of wait to see what he pops up with next. And, and he says he can medicate anything. So we uh, we just sit back and wait for wait for Ron to come to the table with the newest product. But bubble gum is a big one. Bubble gum's a big one for me. I don't see it out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely in this industry, if you can launch something first, it really elevates you and puts you ahead of the game. And Mike Tyson, our deal with Mike Tyson is almost completed. So we're probably a couple weeks away. We're still going back and forth with some paperwork. Um, they were in town last Friday, did uh, a few dispensary tours with us, um, but we will be doing a, a launch with them 
we're looking at probably July, August timeframe, and we'll be carrying the uh, Tyson Ranch brand along with the Undisputed 87. Um, and that's all good stuff. Very cool. It sounds like you guys are expanding quickly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's a good thing. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Bob. I appreciate you joining. Thank you. Today. Yeah. Not all of this stuff. I mean, frozen banana still gets me. I can't believe it's it. It's crazy, isn't it? That's one of the top ones, too. I forgot that one. That is one of the great ones. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All right. Have a great day.